My name is Dr. Greg Rose. I'm the co-founder of the Titleist Performance Institute. I basically take care of all the health and fitness of most Titleist foot joy players worldwide. Yes, Tom Pernice Jr. Uh, born and raised in Kansas City, Missouri. Went out to UCLA, got a golf scholarship to play here in Southern California. Uh, now reside out here still in California, in Murrieta, California. So Tom had an injury to the rotator cuff. He had the supraspinatus, which is one of the most common rotator cuff muscles that's damaged. And when those muscles get damaged, you can get damaged in multiple ways. You can just kind of get a little irritation, a little inflammation. You can get partial tears where some of the fibers start to rip, or you can get a full tear and get resection where the, actually the two ends kind of pull apart. And he had the third, unfortunately. You know, Tom and I consulted and we knew that the surgery was going to be a lot of a lot of rehab and a lot of pain in rehab and some players just don't recover. And we've been, you know, looking at a lot of the regenerative cell therapy and some of the PRP. And I knew one of the best doctors in the world, Dr. Chris Rogers. I said, Tom, would you be up to going to meet with him? We went and Chris was like, listen, it's a full resection tear. I'm not sure, but I'm willing to try if you guys are. His recommendation was to go see Dr. Chris Rogers here in Carlsbad, California. So uh, made her appointment, went and saw Chris. He uh, looked at the MRIs, did some work with uh, looking around and he said, yeah, you definitely have a significant tear, three and a half to four centimeter tear, he believed. But he thought that we should try to do cell therapy, PRP, not do surgery, and uh, I said I was all for it. As you can see in this image, the tendon has been pulled away from the bone. This is a significant injury. We have to figure out a way to heal the tendon, but also figure out a way to get that tendon to reincorporate with the bone. We've had some experience with other patients using cells from the fat to uh, use the regenerative capacity of those cells to heal the tendon, to decrease inflammation, to decrease pain of the injury. And, and so we decided to do this with Tom. He was starting uh, the season and was hoping to avoid surgery because he realized that that would put him out of golf for quite a while. So I shared with him that I've treated a number of other patients using biologic therapy, using cells from the blood or cells from the fat to regenerate tendon. The exciting thing about 2019 was, uh, did win a tournament um, pretty early in the year, basically late May. So if I would have had surgery, I wouldn't have been able to play. Um, to be well enough and strong enough to be able to compete and, and to get a win um, at the uh, Legends of Golf was exciting. A family there watching him, a very special, special win for Tom Pernice Jr. You know, I feel better than ever. I have no pain in my right shoulder. Movement, range of motion, everything's good as could be or better than it was. The, the regeneration that we've seen in there, it almost looks like there's never was trauma. I mean, honestly, his right shoulder feels better than his left shoulder now, which is, which is amazing. And to be able to see that and to see what the future holds for shoulders is, is pretty exciting for us in the sports world. Uh, the real benefit of using your own cells to heal an injury like this is that there's really little downside. The risk is very low uh, compared to other forms of treatment such as surgery, which do have potential complications. And the surgery doesn't really heal the tendon. It simply repairs the tendon, sews the torn ends together. Um, this is a chance to actually result in some healing, which would translate to longer lasting benefit. The other obvious benefit is, of course, patients recover quicker. So he, uh, Tom was able to resume uh, activities within weeks uh, that normally would take months after a surgical procedure. Uh, this really was a remarkable outcome f for an athlete. Tom has worked very hard to heal his tendon to get his shoulder stronger, and he continues to work hard on it. We, we've also been able to treat non-athletes, and we've seen success with them as well. So I really think this is a promising technology that can be useful for many different kinds of people with tendon injuries uh, like this.